I'm constantly looking at the ground, and I love gnarly roots, craggy rocks, and ice. So it's no surprise when I end up with a body of work that's dominated by foreground interest. Today I'm headed to Tiffany Falls to show you my favorite type of shot. I'm glad you joined. With my 14 millimeter super wide angle lens, I'm reaching all the way up. Now I've lined those up so that I've got kind of one, two, and then three is the back of the waterfall there where you can see this really neat opening. Today I want to share with you my absolute favorite type of photography, which is wide angle vertical landscapes. This type of shot in recent history has been popularized on Instagram, but it's definitely one of my favorites to shoot and one of my favorites to look at. So today I've come to Tiffany Falls, which I've never been to in winter. And the story is that this falls is going to have ice climbing or ice coming down the waterfall. So I'm hoping to get a little closer and find that. Okay, so what sort of thing am I talking about? Well, this type of shot requires a super wide angle lens. So 16 millimeter, 14 millimeter if you have it. Um, and what you want to do is you want to find something of keen interest on the ground. Something that's got a lot of detail. Now that might be a little bit of open water on this, um, you know, the river coming off of this waterfall. It might be something that's frozen that looks absolutely gorgeous. It might be a, a rock peeking through or, you know, something that's visually interesting on the ground. And you get within about a foot of that, maybe less. And then you put that right in the foreground of your shot and you have something beautiful in the background. I've just been walking around, taking my time with it, trying to see what looks interesting to me. And there's two things that I think I have to focus on for this shot. The first is the water is definitely coming down one direction of this waterfall. Now, Tiffany Falls kind of has a bit of a slant to it. It doesn't come straight down. Um, it kind of goes off to the left a little bit and cascades down from that side. And so the ice has formed a shell around the right side, um, but there's still water coming down on the left side. And so that is what I need to focus on. And I don't want it facing away. The other thing I found is that there's this down tree. Um, there's a few, but there's this one down tree that has maybe the most interesting ice form I've ever seen at a waterfall. And I absolutely must capture this um, somehow, but there's so much of it and I need to get close to it that I've got to find the right angle to do that. Well, I found one and it's a few feet up this icy slope. Frankly, that is not maybe preferred because if I slide down this, I'm gonna get hurt and I don't really wanna get hurt. So I've gotta find a way to feature something like that or find a version of it on the ground where you can still see that cool ice formation and all of it and also see this waterfall behind it. That's the plan. Okay, I think I got something. This has been a very challenging shot to frame up because I'm kind of on the snow and ice, on my hands and knees, and everywhere I step around, I'm slipping and my shins are running into some rocky ice that's really hard and it's kind of painful to do. But I am very low to the ground. Um, I've got my tripod on its sort of, not really lowest setting, but as low as I can get it in a way where I'm gonna be able to get still this ice formation under this tree and then in the center of the frame I've got um, the sort of this big opening in the waterfall which is really nice and then with my 14 millimeter super wide angle lens I'm reaching all the way up straight up into the sky to get this tree that's sort of looking over top of the waterfall which when you put them in combination kind of tells a very interesting story of this water falling because you're almost looking 
straight up at it, it's almost falling onto you. Like I said, I've got this kind of weird portal that the waterfall is still showing the rock behind it, but it's also just the water's kind of spurting out of there. Um, and it, it forms this very nice archway. One thing that I have a problem with is that you can't really see any leading line that goes up to the waterfall. And actually this large, massive tree that's fallen really separates the frame into two parts that are very different. And one is not very interesting, and the second is very interesting in the background here. So I'm not sure if this shot's gonna work. Uh, I put on my five second timer, and what I'm doing is I'm sort of going and getting the lens with the cloth after I focus, getting it with the, with the cloth, and then while I'm wiping it, I'll just hit the shutter button quickly, give it one last wipe or two, and then step away and hope that none of the snow really destroys the image. But there's still gonna be a little bit of snow and kind of water spots on the lens. The depth of this image is really what I had in mind for this shot. Now stick around for the next image because I want to get your opinion of which one you think is better. All right, I'm really just two feet to the right and I've really changed this composition quite a lot. Now I've got kind of a nice soft entry into this photo. Um, I'm a little further back, I'm like two feet from this ice here, but. I've got the bottom of this tree, which I guess has a bit of a branch, and so there's two segments here of um, this ice. Now, I've lined those up so that I've got kind of one, two, and then three is the back of the waterfall there where you can see this really neat opening. And while I don't really like the midground on this side, I've been able to cut it out for the most part, and there's a couple of trees uh, with some ice and snow that have kind of broken it up, but it all actually kind of leads up to this little mound that's been made by the ice and snow. Well, now that we have both images side by side, which one do you prefer? Do you find the image on the left evokes more emotion and sense of presence? Or that the image on the right feels like looking through a window into a gorgeous winter scene? Tell me down in the comments which one you like, and if this type of shot is one you also enjoy taking. Well, I'm gonna keep working this waterfall. There's still a couple of detailed items on the ground that I think I'm gonna try to get into some shots. If you like this video, you'll really like this other one.